Hey, uh, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Today is Sunday. What's the date today? Hold on a second. Today is the 9th. Does this look okay? It does. Okay. Today is January 9th and um, I am currently packing to head to California for two days. I'm flying out tonight in like a couple hours. I'll be back uh, just two, 48 hours later. So a lot of traveling going on in just a short amount of time, but I owe you guys um, my photos for this week's or last week's now. Uh, photo challenge or photo assignment, which was details in your surrounding. And they also want to announce next week's. And by the way, just so uh, everybody knows this, is it, this isn't my photo challenge. This is actually Peter Forsgaard's. He's the one that's doing it. Um, I'm just doing it and then bring you guys along for the ride. So taking no credit from it, I'm posting over on Peter's Facebook page, his group, and um, I'm not trying to steal any thunder from Peter whatsoever. Just wanted to let you guys know that that's the case in case somebody's like, hey, it's the same thing as Peter, okay? So uh, this last week's uh, this last week's challenge was details in your surrounding, and I wanted to show you guys my photo. And so uh, I'll actually have two of them, and I use the EM1 Mark III for both, and this looks a little overexposed, doesn't it? It does. I use the EM1 Mark III for both, and I use the 25 1.2 for both of these photos. Um, I actually pull this up right here real quick. So I can talk to you guys about the exit data. So the first one I'll put on the screen right here, um, I, I was looking for something just like really, I walk by every day, I never pay attention to. I woke up one morning and the sun was coming up and it was beautiful and there were a lot of colors. And I thought to myself, why not do a quick close up of this uh, orchid plant that's sitting in our kitchen that's getting big buds on, it's getting ready to bloom and then try and kind of use the bokeh to have this like painterly effect in the background um, of the sun coming up. And I think I achieved that. Now I did process this in raw because I had to kind of expose more for the, the background. Uh, and then I had to bring up some of the detail that you're seeing on the screen right now um, in post. But the exposure settings here, I don't do this very often on this channel, but it's the EM1 Mark III with the 25 1.2. It was at ISO 64. So that's low ISO, it's not native. I think ISO 200 would have been cleaner. But I shot it at 1 250th of a second f1.2. Uh, so that was the first photo. Now, I don't think this was my best, but I think it kind of met the criteria a little better. What I should have kept is this photo for a couple weeks from now when we talk about weather. Um, but I posted it anyways. I'm gonna show you guys that photo right now. This is the photo I actually like the most. And I kind of like it for a couple of reasons. One, I like black and white. I think that's kind of a guy thing maybe. Um, I like black and white. Um, but also, it's got like a bunch of Olympus kind of specific traits in it. It's got the slow shutter, handheld dragging of, of the shutter so you get the snow moving effect. Um, and it's snowing, it was dumping snow. It was, the camera was getting soaked. Again, weather seal, I didn't care. I'd, just used it and then turned it back in. So this was, again, the EM1 Mark III, the 25 1.2, ISO 640, uh, at 1 15th of a second, F1.2. Uh, and of course, this was also edited in post. Um, I shot the, both of these in RAW. And so those are my two photos. I think the one of the orchid branch fulfills the criteria better, but I like the photo of the snow better. I should have held on to that one for a couple weeks from now, but. I'm only posting photos from the week in which, I, in which I capture it. So capturing it last week and holding it for three weeks doesn't count. That's not what we're doing. Okay, um, so that's number one. Number two, the announcement for this week, if you guys are following along, this week's theme is wide. Uh, I don't really know what that means. I'm thinking like 28 or wider. And I'm not really sure if I'm gonna shoot that on like on the ZV-1 because that's got 12, well, 24 millimeter equivalent. On this EM1 Mark III, I got 12 millimeter, which is 24 equivalent. Or on my iPhone, which has got a, I think it's like a 13 millimeter equivalent lens. It's super wide. I have a hard time with wide, but this week's challenge is wide. And so whatever you capture this week, and again, we're gonna do the same type of uh, hashtag, e, I think, what was it? EJ Photo Assignment Week 2. So EJ Photo Assignment WK2. <clears throat> Speaking of, there were a few people, and I'm gonna pull them up right now. There were a few people that did participate in my photo assignment for week one. Just three, to be honest, but I actually liked them all. I wanted to, because there's only three of them, I think I'll take the, the chance here to, uh, I guess, promote both or all. Um, the first one here is by Jedrick Salera. If I said that wrong, sorry, man, I know we talked through chat. 
But uh, just something real simple, again, the picture's up here. Real simple, I like the light, I like the tones, I like the textures. I, I think it was very well done. Something, in my opinion, mundane that was picked up and did a very, very good job of it. So Jedrick, good job. The other one was uh, by Amy Nagel, N N Nageli? I'm sorry, again, I shouldn't even try to pronounce these. But I love the light. I love how you captured kind of the, the looks like it's coming off of a blind and it's going down onto the, uh, the, the railing post and it just has that black and white contrast. I think it's, again, it's a very simple, nice capture of light. I'm looking at these right here in case you wonder where I'm looking. It looks really, really good. I, th I think did a great job. And then the final one here, I just saw this. It looks like it was just just uh, just posted, was by Honk Us. Honk US? Honk Us? I don't know. Um, but he, he or she, must be a Cincinnati native, yes, Nikon Z6. So shooting the Nikon, again, camera doesn't matter. I'm shooting Olympus. I'm shooting film, whatever. Uh, again, very simple with this might be whiskey jar. I'm looking at some other photos. Very nice. I like the colors and tones in your in your Instagram profile. So good job. Um, I reached out to one of you guys about the A7C bracket. I'll reach out to the other two and see if you guys want it. If nobody wants it, it carries on to next week. All right, so real quick, as I'm going to California, I really, I really want to shoot, um, if I can, photos. What I'm going to try and shoot this uh, wide challenge on is going to, if I can shoot while I'm in California, is going to be on this right here. This is my uh, Canon AE-1. I've got the 28 millimeter lens on there. I think, in my opinion, 28 or wider is kind of where it starts. Maybe somebody will tell me that's not the case, but I kind of classify 28 as wide. Now, I've got Acros 100 film in here. I've got it rated at 400, so I'm going to uh, push it two stops, and I'll develop it that way. If I get a chance to shoot this, I'm going to try and put the GoPro, wow, this is a DJI Osmo Action, on top and bring you guys along for the ride. But that may or may not happen. If I can't shoot, I'm in California because I'm there for work and it's a compact schedule. Um, I might actually try to make the wide angle lens on my iPhone work, shoot raw. Very difficult. I don't like the way it looks necessarily. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Again, the camera doesn't matter. Use what's at your disposal. You want to use, I could use this in picture mode if I wanted to. I could use my ZV-1. Um, but I'm going to try and shoot this roll of film. I want to develop it anyways. That's another story. Bring you guys along, along for the ride. So anyways, guys, um, I'm off to California. I'm bringing with me the film camera, my Olympus, and the DJI, just in case I get a chance to go for a photo walk early in the morning. Time zone change, I'll be up early probably anyways. Uh, I'm bringing with me my MacBook Air. I got the new one with the M1 chip. This thing flies for, for a MacBook Air, way better than the past ones. And I just picked up this guy right here. This is um, a Peak Design Travel Duffel. This thing's pretty cool. I, I'm trying to fit everything into this for the week, or for the, for the couple days I'm gone, including camera gear, doing like the compartmental type of packing thing. And then you can strap this up as a backpack. Uh, which would be really, really cool. So I'm going with this. All right, guys. Oh, one last thing. Two last things. Audio. I'm bringing this Bose speaker with me. Boom. It's going to focus. There you go. Uh, my wife got me this for Christmas. This thing rocks. I love it. And then I also got these old Sennheiser headphones that I uh, use on the plane when I'm watching movies. I've got a late flight tonight. Like I said, a red eye coming back. So movies are important. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great week. And I'll see you uh, whenever I get a chance to make another video. Hopefully I can do some photography with the, with the film camera and bring you guys along for that. Uh, okay, thanks for sticking around for all this rambling. Appreciate it. See ya.